Gloss versus non-gloss. Now, what is this about? Okay, in the woodworking world, you know, you've got gloss, and then you've got a semi-gloss, and then you've got a satin, and you've got flats. You know, I think Sherwin-Williams used to call their lacquers, you had gloss, uh, medium rub, hand rub, but it all defers to the sheen. What you have to know is, is that every single finish starts out as a gloss, period. They're all gloss. So they add flatteners to them. Now this is a can of deft satin. Got a rattle can. Here's a can of deft gloss. Nothing. Here's a can of shellac. Nothing. These are gloss. There's nothing in here to mix up. They, and these are solvents. They're going to stay. So what this little ball bearing is doing in here is it's simply being used to agitate and mix the flattener. And what that flattener does is it diffuses light and makes it appear as a lesser sheen than what it actually is. In solvent base, that's pretty much it. It's not complicated. Same, th same thing when you get into a water base, you know. But then there comes the question of, do we use gloss, then semi-gloss? You know, what do we do? Because the issue is, is one cloudy, do we just keep, if we just keep putting coats of satin on, are we clouding the finish? In a sprayed application, a little, but not a dramatic amount. Do we use a gloss, then a satin? No, we don't. We use satin all the way through. There's an exception, and that's oils. The, the issue is getting the flattener to lay out evenly. And an oil, they will, the, that flattener will settle out very quick. You have to stir it and stir it really, really well. If not, what happens is the flattener is going to settle to the bottom in it, and as you work down through the can, you're going to keep getting duller and duller and duller. The other thing that happens with oils, because of the way the flattener reacts with them, is that they don't, like I said, they don't like to lay out real nice and even. The best way to handle an oil is to use a gloss up until your last coat or two. And then make sure that you've got it really, really well mixed and make sure you put on a nice, wet, even coat. This allows it everything to flow and prevents it from streaking. Um, I can almost assure you that if you're using oils and you try to use a satin all the way through, because you know in oils to get a decent finish, it's not uncommon to have five, six, eight coats. I've gone more than that to get a nice build up and a nice sheen. Uh, the oils, go, the, the gloss is what you're going to want to do your base coats in. Then comes the question of, okay, is a gloss harder than a semi-gloss or a satin? No, it's not. But I can understand how that could be perceived. And that's because the flattener that's in there kind of acts like a sterate to a degree and makes it easier to sand. A gloss is harder, a gloss is harder to sand, period. And in the segment we did on, on sanding sealers, you've got that same sterate in there. So a sanding sealer is going to almost act like a, uh, now you don't have sanding sealers for oils, but it's going to act much like a satin finish. So one of the things you can expect with an oil base is that it's going to be, if it's not really dry, when you sand it, it can tend to roll up a little bit on you. That being the case, that's where you can take one of the wet or dry papers and use a little bit of soapy water and you kind of wet sand it. 
a little bit to help you. Or, again, we like the, yeah, the industrial brazier products because they've got that steroid on them and that helps. But if it's rolling on you real bad, you're just not cured. Give it a little bit more dry time. So that's kind of the gloss versus semi-gloss versus satin in an applied finish. Now I'm going to reemphasize this. You're not going to take, you're not going to spray a finish that's going to give you that super high gloss. Like I'm, you, know, you can do it in an automobile or something like that, but to get that really, really high gloss, you got to rub it. And in the segment on finishing to finish, you'll see that happen. That's the variances in glosses, semi-gloss, and satin. I'm going to say it again. Our go-to finish is satin. And the reason for that is it has a nice sheen, doesn't show fingerprints very well. The higher the gloss, the more perfect the surface has got to be. Because the more sheen you put, put on it as you look across it, the least little defect in it, it's going to show. If you've got a little wave, you do a big tabletop and if there's a little wave in it, and you got a high gloss on it, you're going to see it. 